All morning long, we have team coverage live from the landmark climate report from the IPCC. We want to head back down to 7 World Trade Center, downtown Manhattan, where Steph has Princeton professor Michael Oppenheimer to help us break this all down for folks. And Al, he has so much information, so we want to get right to it. Uh, Professor Oppenheimer, come on in here. You have served both as a panelist and an author for these IPCC reports. So what is the very latest we're finding out in the first of four reports that will be released? Well, the big news is Earth is warm significantly. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep warming. Most of the warming is due to the buildup of greenhouse gases due to human activity, like burning coal oil and natural gas. And that if we don't change the way we do things, that we're going to blow through the danger point that scientists and the governments have set, which is about four degrees Fahrenheit above what the temperature was a few uh, decades ago. So we're getting close to the point where if we don't do something, there are going to be dangerous and irreversible impacts. Like what? Well, sea level is rising. That's starting to cause problems along the coast. We saw it with Hurricane Sandy, for instance. Heat waves are getting more frequent and more intense. Drought is becoming more common in certain parts of the world. Intense flooding rainstorms, which kill people in some areas, are becoming more common too. So when are we going to reach this danger point and is there anything we can do to stop it? If we don't change our emissions of the greenhouse gases, mm -hmm. then we will have emitted enough by around 2040, which is only about 25 years in the future, that we'll be eventually beyond the danger point in terms of temperature. But there are things we can do. We can start acting to reduce the emissions of the greenhouse gases, control, eventually eliminate our use of coal. Mm -hmm. That The governments are thinking about this. If too slowly, the U.S. government is starting to get on it, too. And these are things we're going to learn in the next three reports, right? So how is it all broken down? This report is about the physical science. What's the weather going to do? The next report is about what are the impacts? What are the storms going to do to us? What's the intense heat going to do to us? What's it going to do to natural ecosystems and other species? Mm -hmm. The third report is about policy. What do we do about it? How do we turn this freight train that's rushing forward around? And the fourth is a summary of the whole thing.